Hey guys, I'm Avesh. This is the part 8 of the Mern stack tutorial. In the previous session, we understood the prerequisites needed for Express.js application. Please ensure that you have installed Visual Studio Code and Node.js on your system. In this session, we will focus on creating a simple API using Express.js. Let me switch to my command prompt. Look at that. I have already a directory named Mern, and in this directory, I'm going to create a new directory called mkdir ecom. Let's say we are building an ecom application and we will say this as ecom hyphen API. We type in dir. Look at that. We now have the ecom API. Once this is done, we need to check if the node is installed. In order to do that, type node minus v which is the version command look at that i have 18.19.0 on my machine the latest version of node.js is 21 it's up to you to upgrade your node version let me continue with this version for some time and later upgrade it in the next stages let me also type and look at my npm version look at that my npm version is 10.2.3 let me now switch to the ecom api cd ecom api and let me type in dir there's nothing in this directory using our npm command let's install express we can do it in two ways one is npm i or we can type it as npm install space and type in as express this will install the express framework which includes the node modules and its dependencies related to express so let me type npm install express Notice that it has added 64 packages and all of these packages are under a file called package.json file. We have not created the package.json file. However, this command will install express by adding a new package.json if it is missing. Now let me type in dir. Look at that. We now have package.json file, package.log.json file and node modules. Let me open this folder in Visual Studio. In order to do that, we need to type code dot. Look at that. Visual Studio has opened the folder ecom API. In that, we have a package JSON with dependencies related to Express and we have node modules installed for Express. We have the Express as well as rest of the dependent modules installed into the node modules folder. If I collapse this, and open the package log JSON, which is used along with package.json, you will notice that we have an express and its dependencies such as body parser and other stuff. Let's now consume the express package by utilizing it in the app.js file. Let's create a new file. Look at that we have an option to create a new file or new folder. Let me create a new file and add a file name called app.js which is nothing but our application.js. Within this application.js, I will be adding constant express equal to require. In order to run this application, we require an express module. After this, we have to add constant app equal to express. That means we are creating an express application. Let's run this on a port. So we'll create a port number 3000. This is a standard port where the express applications will be running. I'll be use the same port. Now in order to create an API, we need to type app.application.get. That means I'm creating my first API with the route. How do you do that? Put a slash comma for every request comma response perform some operation. So in this case, I will just return a simple response response.send in this response i'll say this is my first api let me also say get api now in order to make this api up and running we need to add another command and call it as app.listen which means we will ask our app to listen on the port the port number that we have created and say that you know your first application is running we can use a console log to print out that this application is running so I would say console log say that example app listening at HTTP colon slash slash local host colon dollar and we will add the dynamic value of port here. That's it. Our application will be up and running. Let me save this application. We can run this application in two ways. One, you can open the terminal within the Visual Studio. In order to open the terminal, you need to press command J or control J. 
which opens up the terminal here which is sim similar to our command prompt or you can type in control j again switch back to our command prompt here and call node since it is an express is a node application we will type in as app.js and press enter look at that our application is now listening on port number 3000 now that we have just one get api running in this app.js file we can invoke this api using any browser so let me use the chrome window and type localhost 3000 and look at that we now have the output call this is my first get api in the next session we will explore more options and routes with the express api till then thank you for listening and have a great day